So this week's Q&A is kind of focusing around a lot of comments and kind of not quite questions but a lot of things that people say about our packing habits yep. um, <laughs> because we have friends who are just like oh my god how do you do this I need to like pack everything including the kitchen sink and uh, yep. you had a good one the other day. Yeah a uh, work colleague of mine is away. Um, now granted it's her, her partner two small children yeah. in Tenerife for four weeks. Yeah. No, for not four weeks, for two weeks. Yeah. Um, and she has four suitcases for carry-on because it's, she's a parent. I mean, I get, the thing is, is that with yeah. this, she has small children and I get you need to plan for mm. all possible eventualities. Yeah. But at the same time, I was just kind of like- That's like hell on earth to me having to deal with that amount uh, of luggage. Yeah, totally. But to kind of go through this properly, we kind of have to point out that we didn't always travel like this. No. Um, up until quite recently, um, when we go to Europe, it's pretty easy to just pack quite light. Yeah. And you get a pretty generous uh, baggage allowance when you're going to Europe. So, yeah. you know, it's been absolutely fine. But when we went to, when we go to Asia, that's when it's a completely different ball game. Like last time we were in Japan, which was not last year, the year before, let me show you what we packed. These. I can hide behind it and knock something over. <laughs> Just leave Oops. it. Um, yeah. I took this, which has a backpack on the front of it. So we had this. And on top of this, I also took this. So I this is well. can you the, when this is full it is heavy like seriously because this thing is let's see sixty five liters and fifteen sixty five and fifteen and this zips off to reveal yeah sixty five fifteen sixty five fifteen yeah so this thing is as it says colossus this is my colossus bag. And I love this bag. I really, really do. It's got hip straps, like it all zips up into the back. So let me just open this up. It has all the proper straps and everything. Um, so you can zip it up, you can put this over it and it keeps everything safe. You can throw it in the hold. But the problem is carrying the damn thing when it's full because I could easily fill this thing given half the chance, yeah. but when for example this last trip that we used it on we flew to tokyo then we went to kyoto osaka nagoya back to tokyo and each time it's getting heavier and heavier and heavier and more crap is being added and by the end of it you're kind of buckling at the knees trying to desperately get this thing from your hotel to the airport so you can put it on a trolley and then at the other end you've got to struggle with it again and yeah, it was part of that that made me stop using this. Well, the other thing was when we you were, were even worse, I yeah. wish to point out, because yes. you carried I... this in Japan, and then you also bought another bag, which isn't very small, this, and you filled both of them yeah. to the brim. Yeah. And yeah, we had, there's a picture somewhere of a, a trolley in the airport piled yep. high with bags and it was just an absolute nightmare i think the only way i was balanced is because i put all the heavy stuff in the front i put everything else in the back and i was balanced and just slowly buckling at the knees oh. and it's horrible like i don't want to travel like that anymore that was part of what started, started this because while while i absolutely love this bag I'm seriously retiring it from traveling because one it's like falling apart a bit like it's done like traveling around Thailand when I first went it's done Japan a couple of times it's done some really really good holidays and yeah. I love this bag but I think the only thing it's actually going to get used for now is doing like epic shopping trips like at Christmas and things like that yeah. because I just can't carry it for a long amount of time and it's just no. Too much crap to deal with. So, this is what we used to deal with. Yep. Because mine is a wee bit smaller than yours, but not by much. Yeah. 
What's yours? Yours 60 is 60 plus 10. 60, 10, and mine's 65, 15. So, yeah. You've got an extra 10 litres of storage. Plus, also, because there's this gap, it doesn't like zip up all the way around. You could stuff things in there as well, which yeah. I have done when I've run out of it. I've done that as well, but the zip's yeah. now starting to bust oh, for the zip up and it, and it comes mm -hmm. undone. So. But I think that is part of it, that because yeah, we yeah. travelled with these giant bags, you're like, I've got space, I can buy it. And you just collect a huge amount of stuff. Yeah. So we're going to the big trip this year. We're going to China, Japan and South Korea, which is a big trip, but we're going to try and do it without these. Yeah. We did Thailand last year. Um, I did Thailand with just this. Yep. And you did Thailand with that. So again, between us, we can share things. If I can't fit something, you can and vice versa. And we can kind of juggle it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I did Thailand with this, but the difference is obviously Thailand is quite hot, so you can wash things and you can hang them up to dry, and they dry very very quickly. Yeah. Whereas that's another thing. Sorry, I'm just kind of going on tangents here. <laughs> um, depend. It depends where you go as to what kind of bag and what kind of yeah. amount of stuff you need. Because if it will dry in time, you need next to nothing. Yeah. If it won't dry so quickly. You need to take more. You need to take a little bit more, which is why I tend to go for the wash one, wear one, spare one. So you wash one, you're wearing one. If it, the wash one still isn't dry in 24 hours, you've got your spare one and it should be dry within two days. Yeah. So it'll be interesting doing a bigger trip with a smaller bag. So just to give you an idea of baggage allowances as well. So I've got four bags, you've got three, haven't you? Yep. You're kind of missing out on the medium yeah, size one. Mine. So this one and your big one there, this is the carry-on allowance for things like EasyJet, um, just it, unless it's Ryanair who would not talk, don't talk about them. Um, this is your carry-on allowance. Yeah. So this is the equivalent of a wheelie bag, it's just in a rucksack. Yeah. So this is our carry-on allowance for when we go to Paris, Berlin, when we go to China. Um, so this is the bag we're going to be taking for our long haul flights now. Yep. And you can see it's it is a fair amount of bag. And anything above and beyond this, I don't think I want to be carrying it around too much because even when we were in Thailand, I was struggling with this when it was full. Yeah. Mainly because the heat. But yeah. 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 But it is. I, I. I guess I'm more or less at the same stage as you. Mm -hmm. um, I think that when we go back to Japan next year, there's going to be mm -hmm. a potential for taking the bigger one. That's because you love Japan and you love shopping. Yes, yes, very much so. I think, and I, yeah. but I'm, I'm well aware that that is the problem. Yeah. But that's why I guess this time round, because we're only going to be spending a week in mm -hmm. only only a week in Japan. <laughs> <In> Japan. <laughs> <laughs> however, will we cope? However, yeah. will we survive? I'm going to be taking this. Part yeah. of me does think, oh crap, we're going to see stuff that yeah. uh, we really, really want. But it's... That's also kind of why I want to take this, because if we're having to go through... So our flight schedule is uh, like nine flights, because we're not going direct. I do not want to have to like bounce about and deal with bags and have to keep track of things and have to wait around for baggage carousels and all of that rig and roll. I mean it might happen, we might end up putting a box in the hold if there's liquids or something that we desperately want, but I just want one bag that I can keep an eye on. Yeah. I don't have to carry too much about, I'm just kind of past carrying around huge amounts of stuff because yeah. I would rather go super super minimalist than carry loads of crap about. Yeah. And this is plenty for us. This well, the other thing fine. which I think has to be mentioned is that with those bags that mm -hmm. we'll be taking, obviously these ones are going to go inside. Those so we've got, inside, so yeah. that, that this is our walk around. Yeah. Um, I think there's one thing which is helps uh, with the what why we arrived at this was our Japan trip last time round, because Turkish Airlines oh, God, yeah. were just. We'll move south on, but basically the short version is we were going to, they changed, they kept changing our flights. 
They changed their flight something ridiculous, like six, seven times. We arrived at Edinburgh Airport not knowing if our flight was at 10 o'clock in the morning or 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, we, had, we ended up having one time on the website, one time on the ticket, one time on the emails. It was just a complete mess up of the joke. But when we got to uh, Narita Airport to come home, it turned out that because they had changed our return flight as well, and we had over 24 hours in Turkey, that they wouldn't hold on to our bags. So we were going to have to check out, deal with this mountain of bags for 24 hours, and then check back in again. And no, no, um, we it would have been great to go into Turkey, but we couldn't do it with all no. that baggage. Whereas if we were just with our hand luggage, we could totally do it next time. Absolutely. The other so, thing yeah. was that um, we, well, we, I say we, you did a fantastic job of emotionally guilt tripping. Um, the admittedly very, very lovely Turkish yeah. airline staff, because uh, they were like, yeah, you're going to have to get a visa because you're going to be there and there's no yeah, luggage. Yeah, we'd have to pay for a visa just to sit there with our luggage for 24 hours. And um, yeah, so basically... Turkish Airlines was just a joke, full stop, yeah. but we're digressing. <laughs> well, I was more saying that because we, we ended up staying overnight in Narita and then mm. went back to the airport, but because we had all this stuff, it was the, the also the cost of going mm. back into Tokyo. Tokyo is an hour plus away. Um, and it would have been cool to go back into Tokyo for one day, yeah. but we couldn't have done it with, with all, all that baggage. The, with all this baggage. Everything boils down to Turkish Airlines being a complete nightmare on that trip and having far too much baggage between us. Whereas if we'd had those, the smaller ones, we would have been like, sod it, let's go back into yeah, Tokyo for the day. Yeah, it would have been day. a lot easier. Um, but, yeah. Speaking of carry on with baggage sizes, because we, yeah. we, <laughs> we just keep going on yeah. tangents. Um, bear in mind this is your carry on allowance. Nine times out of ten, if we're going to Europe, I will take this. Yeah. And you will take your little one. Yeah. And this started off because of another airline being dicks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at you, Ryanair. Um, we went to Bologna with Ryanair and they changed their baggage allowance. So we ended up, because I don't want to pay extra to keep a bag with me and we were arriving late and there's like 101 reasons why this wasn't going to no. work for us, um, that you ended up travelling with that and I ended up travelling with my smaller one, yep. whereas I would normally take this one. And we figured that we can actually travel with everything in this and it fits like half of this bag. Yeah. which goes to show how much space we actually need. So yeah. when we're not with Ryanair, who are being money-grabbing douchebags, I tend to take this slightly bigger one, yeah. and you take the little one, because then we've just got that extra little bit of space yeah. if there is anything we want to bring back, and it just makes things a bit more comfortable yeah. for both of us. Um, and that is absolutely fine, because the thing is, as you may have noticed from these videos, I always wear the same thing. Yeah. You not so much, um, but it is still kind of like a t-shirt and trousers kind of deal. Yeah. Um, so if I'm wearing the same thing at home, why am I not doing it on holiday? I don't no. need to take 15 different tops, 12 different pairs of trousers. No. Because I wear the same thing day in, day out because, yeah. Yeah. It's what I find comfortable, it's what I find easy. Um, the same with shoes, I wear the same shoes, so I don't need to take 10 pairs with me. Yeah. Everything has just been kind of like simplified because if I'm not going to do it at home, I ain't going to do it on holiday either. Absolutely. And I think that was also uh, was a thing that another one of my colleagues mentioned when they said, um, asked how the hell we managed to go on holiday all the time. And I said, because we don't spend insane amounts of money on where we stay mm. you know ultimately all we're doing with whatever it is we're staying is sleeping there mm. eating there that um if mm. it's got a kitchen or facilities to do that yeah. and she said she said i can't think of a nice way to say this and he said but and it's not meant as an insult said, but none of us live in five-star accommodation so yeah. why do we have to go stay mm. in five-star accommodation yeah. on holiday and it's like you don't as long as it's clean has a bed Preferably a shower or some sort of thing. A shower, thing. bath would be even better yeah. because... We don't have a bath now. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's true. Yeah. It's like, if I don't do this stuff at home, I'm not going to do it on yeah. a holiday either. Yeah. 
and I don't need to take a load of stuff with me. I'm trying to cut back on the, I know we're standing, we're sitting in front of a wall filled with stuff, which is all yours. Mine. Um, I'm trying to cut back the amount of stuff that I have, so I'm not going to go crazy buying stuff on holiday to bring back because I'm trying not to do that. So yeah. it's all about kind of what makes you happy, what is important to you, and if I'm not going to do it at home, I'm not really going to do it on holiday. I'm there to see the place and to experience it, not yeah. to bring a load of rubbish back with me. Yeah. I mean, if there is stuff that I need and I see on holiday, of course I'm going to get it. Yeah. But it is kind of like, do I actually need this or am I just getting this because I have spare money to spend? Yeah. But, yeah, that that's yeah. kind of our guide to bags, <laughs> bags and packing. Um, yeah. Yeah, Wash one, wear one, spare one, only take what you need, and yeah. Pretty much. It's all good to go. <laughs> so, if you have other packing questions yeah. or travel questions. Yeah, answer, answers. ask us your questions in the comments below because you know we like doing these videos. Yeah. Um, also, please subscribe because we're still trying to hit that magic um 1000 subscribers we're over halfway there now um so please subscribe and also um we are now on patreon so if you wish to get involved with that and see some extra super secret videos that you won't see anywhere else there is a link below so yeah thank you for watching and i'm sure we'll see you again soon bye